Hi guys, uh, welcome to my first ever video about names. I'm a little bit nervous, but here we go. So today I want to talk to you about my top 10 favorite Cornish names for girls. Um, firstly, I should probably just explain for those of you who aren't very familiar with Cornish names. Um, Cornwall is an English county. In fact, it's the southernmost county in the British Isles. Um, but Cornish names are actually very different from the usual Anglo-Saxon and Norman names that are seen as traditionally English names because Cornwall is one of the six Celtic nations. Cornwall is therefore actually a really close uh, relative of Welsh. Um, so a lot of their words are very similar and they're pronounced very similarly as well. Um, unlike Welsh, however, Cornish has all but died out as a language. However, over the last 40 years, there has been an effort to revive it. And because of that, lots of Cornish names have been revived, reinvented and also uh, newly created. So here is my top 10 favourite Cornish girls' names. So... Coming in at number one, my favourite Cornish girl's name is Alowen. Um, Alowen is a modern Cornish name, it's actually taken straight from the Cornish Dictionary and it means elm tree. Um, it's definitely been getting more attention recently, in recent years, in name blogs and the name community, so I think that's probably why we're seeing a rise in its usage. In 2015 it was 1007 in England and Wales, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that actually represents 35 girls being born that year. Um, and that's a massive increase from just the five girls that were given the name in 2005. Um, however, in the southwest, which is where Cornwall and Devon are, the name were actually ranked 264. So 15 of those girls were actually Cornish girls. So it shows that it's quite popular even in Cornwall. I think Alowen's my favourite, probably because it has so much potential. It's very similar to a lot of um, names which are currently popular, like Ella, Elsie, Eliza, Eloise. It's also got the fashionable O sound that we hear in Sophie and Chloe and Willow. But the when ending just gives it a bit more of a romantic and magical edge to it. Um, at number two, we have the very lovely Carenza. Um, Carenza is slightly more of a traditional Cornish name, it's actually been used since the 19th century um, and it comes from the Cornish word meaning love, so that makes it a sister name to the Welsh Ceris and Caris. Um, it's not quite as common now as it used to be in the 90s um, because there are quite a few spellings, there's the K and the S spelling, there's the K and the Z spelling, there's K-A-R, K-E-R, and also with a C, um, but all of the spellings rank below the top 1,000 in England and Wales, so it makes it a charming but quite rare option. Uh, number three is Merrin. Merrin is a place name, it comes from the village of St Merrin in North Cornwall, um, and it's a unisex name, however, um, it's more common for girls at the moment, even though the saint that founded the village was actually a man. Um, the meaning of the name is a little bit ambiguous, a bit mysterious, but it's most likely the Cornish form of the old Welsh name Morion, which means born of the sea. Um, and it has a really fascinating history all linked to mermaids. Um, so if you're interested, um, have a look at the link below in the description, which will take you to the name of the week post that I wrote about it. Um, Merrin has been rising for girls recently, it's currently at 909 in England and Wales which means that 40 girls were given the name in that year and 21 of those were born in the South West which made it the most popular um, Cornish name in and around Cornwall at 210 in 2015. Um, I think I like the name because it just sounds a bit cheerful, it makes me think of Merry um, and it's got the fashionable N ending and it's not too frilly um, but it's still a bit girly so I think it's a winner. At number four we have the lovely and lyrical Lowena. Um, Lowena is another one of the more traditional Cornish names. It's been in use since the 19th century um, and it comes from the Cornish noun Lowena which means joy, happiness or bliss. Um, the noun form Lowen which means happy or um, joyful um, is also used as a name but that's actually a lot more unisex it's used almost equally for both boys and girls 
Um, I think I like them both because like Alloan, um, they, it has the fashionable O sound, but also got that lovely Celtic when sound, which gives it a bit more of a magical feel. Um, in 2015, Lowenna ranked 1,497 in England and Wales, um, but actually it was 326 in the South West, which makes it the third most popular Cornish name in and around Cornwall for 2015. Um, again, there's a Name of the Week post all about Lowenna if you're interested in more information about this name, so take a look down at the link below if you want to find out more. And number five is Briar. Um, Briar is a place name. It's the name of the smallest island off the Isles of Scilly off the coast of Cornwall and it means something like place of hills in Cornish. Uh, what I find really interesting about Briar is that it's almost unheard of as a name outside of Cornwall. Um, in the southwest in 2015 it actually ranked 446 which makes it the fourth most popular Cornish name for girls in that area in 2015 but it barely ranks at all in the rest of the UK um, but what I quite like about it is it sounds just like the fashionable botanical briar which we all know from Sleeping Beauty but it has a lovely Celtic twist so I think it's a great choice for anyone who really likes the name briar um, but wants to honour their Celtic heritage. Number six is Alestrin. Alestrin is the Cornish word for the iris flower and it's been used as a name since the 1970s. Um, as a name it's still quite rare, it hasn't actually had more than three births in any given year since 1996 in England and Wales so it doesn't appear in the official data at all. Um, however, Flower names are incredibly fashionable at the moment. Iris itself is so close to being in the top 100. And so I think there's plenty of scope for Alestrin, especially as it starts with an E, which is an incredibly popular um, letter for names at the moment. So maybe we'll see a few more in the future. Number seven is Aseld. Um, I have to admit, I am slightly cheating with this one. Um, Aseld isn't actually a modern Cornish name at all. It's in fact a very ancient one um, because it's the Cornish form of the name Isolde or Isult, which we all know is the famous name from the Arthurian legend of Tristan and Isolde. Um, the origins of this name are quite complicated but really fascinating. So if you want to know more, you can look at the link in the description, which will take you to the name of the week post I did about it. Um, my favourite etymology, which personally I think is most likely, um, is that it comes from the old Celtic name meaning one who is gazed upon, which I think is lovely. Um, personally, I think Aseld is lovely. I just think it's such a beautiful name and it sounds so pretty. So here I am advocating for more Aselds in the world. Number eight is Sonara, which was the name of an old medieval Cornish saint whose name was actually commemorated in the Cornish village of Zena. Um, both Sonara and Zena are now used as given names in Cornwall. Um, in fact, Sonara ranked at 446 in 2015 in the southwest. Um, the name probably comes from the old Celtic word Seno, meaning old or ancient, and Waro, meaning hero. So, ancient hero, I think that's quite a lovely meaning for a girl to have. Um, I think the name Sonara is a great choice because it sounds quite exotic um, yet it still rhymes with names like Lara and Zara and Kara so it has a familiar feel to it at the same time. And number nine is Rosenwin. Um, I'm definitely getting a bit more fanciful as I get towards the end of this list. Um, Rosenwin is a compound name which comes from the Cornish word Rosen meaning rose and win meaning fair, pure or blessed. So basically fair rose. Um, it's very rare as a name at all um, and barely used at all outside of Cornwall itself. But I think it makes a lovely alternative to names like Rosalind, Rosamond, Rosabelle or any of the lovely rose names out there. And again, I think it just has that slightly more magical, mystical feel to it. it sounds like a name that a princess would have in a fantasy novel or um, an elvish queen in Lord of the Rings. So yeah, I think Rosenwin is a really lovely Cornish choice. Finally, at number 10 is Endelian, or as I prefer, the Cornish form Endelin. 
Um, saint Endelion is a hamlet in North Cornwall which was named after an ancient British saint called Endelion in English or Endelin in Cornish or Endelienta in Latin. Um, the name is an incredibly rare one. There are hardly any examples of the name Endelin, Endelian or Endelienta in use. Endelin is personally my favourite and is actually the rarest form of it. Um, but the name did get a little bit more attention when David Cameron gave Endelian as a middle name to his youngest daughter, Florence. So I think Endelian or Endelin is a great choice for anyone who wants a really truly unique name that doesn't sound too weird it has a great history to it um, and also people have some knowledge of it thanks to David Cameron so there we go that is my top 10 Cornish names for girls um, I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching